हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट देन देन वी हैव इंट्रेंसिक renal acute renal failure in intrinsic renal acute renal failure we have renovascular obstruction number one there is renovascular obstruction in renovascular obstruction here in intrinsic renal acute renal failure here the problem is in the kidney so in the first one there is renovascular obstruction there is obstruction present intrinsically in the kidney that is renovascular obstruction there can be diseases of glomeruli or diseases of renal microvasculature may be seen so in diseases of glomeruli or diseases of renal microvasculature so here the problem is in the glomeruli or the pro problem is in the kidney so obviously there is acute renal failure it can occur due to any type of glomerulonephritis can result in renal um, intrinsic renal acute renal failure or any type of vasculitis affecting the kidney can cause this then it can occur due to the hemolytic uremic syndrome or thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation it can be due to the toxemia of the pregnancy and in malignant hypertension obviously there will be malignant or accelerated hypertension there is end organ damage is present which results in glomerular disease or it can be due to the radiation nephritis where kidney is involved or conditions connective tissue disorders like systemic lupus erythematosus or scleroderma where the glomeruli are involved so all the diseases which involve glomeruli or renal microvasculature are important in intrinsic renal acute renal failure then we have acute tubular necrosis in conditions of acute tubular necrosis can be due to ischemia okay in the ischemia ischemia in ischemia it is always same has pre renal acute renal failure okay whenever there is ischemia to the tubules obviously there is uh, renal failure can occur some toxins can also cause acute renal failure these toxins will actually damage the kidney thus resulting in acute tubular necrosis and acute renal failure these toxogenous toxins can be exogenous or endogenous toxins first exogenous toxins will be radio contrasts any type of radio contrasts which are used by for investigations the drugs like cyclosporine antibiotics especially in the antibiotics we have drugs like amino glycosides and we have chemotherapy agents in the chemotherapy agents the important one is cisplatin then these are exogenous toxins then we also have endogenous toxins endogenous toxins mainly include rhabdomyolysis is seen endogenous toxins like rhabdomyolysis or there can be hemolysis can occur or in uric acid and then we have drugs like okay rhabdomyolysis hemolysis uric acid oxalate can be involved or plasma cell dyscrasia okay so all these are the conditions where acute tubular necrosis can occur okay these plasma cell dyscrasia can be for example they can be myelomas okay so all these are the conditions of acute tubular necrosis other causes of intrinsic renal failure are these can be due to interstitial nephritis or it can be due to intratubular deposition and obstruction then we have renal allograft rejection okay so these are the different causes of intrinsic renal failure then we have thank you and thank you for watching